Whether you already have a partner or just want to go by yourself, a lot of people are taking up ballroom dancing. It's all walks of life. We have 12-year-olds and we have 80-year-olds. And while those we saw taking lessons looked like they were having fun, I wonder, can anyone learn this? Can you teach anybody how to ballroom dance? Absolutely. Anybody? Anybody. Even me? Even you. <laughs> we'll see about that. Forward on your left foot, directly back onto your right, and make about a quarter of a turn to your left and close your feet. Now do I swing you like down between my legs and then turn around? No, 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 no. There's a few basic steps to learn, and you need to know where you're going. Ultimately, you want to go counterclockwise around the outside of the room. <laughs> Not really. It's okay if you don't do it perfectly, but there is a good way to make mistakes. You want to make big, big enough mistakes that I can follow them. So you want to pretend like you know what you're doing, even if you don't. I do that every morning. Okay. <laughs> I may be right, I may be wrong, but I'm perfectly willing. Now, if I could only find a partner who dances like Ginger Rogers. In Seattle, George Siegel, Como News 4. You know, when I was a kid, there was this club that we belonged to. I was about 14, called Bells and Bows. And you had to and, dance like that? Every week you went and did that. It was a, it's actually an awful lot of fun to dance like that. <laughs> I didn't do it very well. <laughs> As you might I won't imagine. Comment. No, okay. Good idea. We have more news to tell you about coming up in the next.